if we accept the proposition that humans are not disabled, a person can never be broken. Our built environment, our technologies, are broken and disabled. We, the people, need not accept our limitations, but can transcend disability through technological innovation. Indeed, through fundamental advances in bionics in this century, we will set the technological foundation for an enhanced human experience, and we will end disability. I'd like to finish up with one more story, a beautiful story, the story of Adrian Hoslett Davis. Adrian lost her left leg in the Boston terrorist attack. I met Adrian when this photo was taken at Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital. Adrian is a dancer, a ballroom dancer. Adrian breathes and lives dance. It is her expression. It is her art form. Naturally, when she lost her limb in the Boston terrorist attack, she wanted to return to the dance floor. After meeting her and driving home in my car, I thought, "I'm an MIT professor." I have resources. Let's build her a bionic limb to enable her to go back to her life of dance. Brought in、uh, MIT scientists with expertise in prosthetics, robotics, machine learning, and biomechanics, and over a 200-day research period, we studied dance. We brought in dancers with biological limbs, and we studied how do they move, what forces do they apply on the dance floor.、And、we took those data, and we. Put forth fundamental principles of dance, reflexive dance capability, and we embedded that intelligence into the bionic limb. Bionics is not only about making people stronger and faster. Our expression, our humanity, can be embedded into electromechanics. It was 3.5 seconds between the bomb blasts and the Boston terrorist attack, and 3.5 seconds the criminals and cowards took Adrian off the dance floor. In 200 days, we put her back. We will not be intimidated, brought down, diminished, conquered, or stopped by acts of violence. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to introduce Adrienne Hoslett Davis. Her first performance since the attack. She's dancing with Christian Leitner. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the research team: Elliot Rouse and Nathan Bertuzzi. Elliot and Nathan. <laughs> 